Yes, sir. Okay, today in this video here, I'm going to talk about two things. I'm going to talk about this complete Cantonese course I just got today and my progress. How my Cantonese studies, studies are going. All right. First of all, um, you guys know this book here. This is the book I've been using. Started learning Cantonese with. This is a really good book. And there's been several reviews on YouTube. So there's really no need to talk about this book here. Now, this is the new one. And they didn't really do much. Like, um, I, I mean, they. As you can see, the cover is different. I mean, it looks more clean. You open it up. You have what? Uh, let's see. Let's go to the first chapter. Okay. So, unlike the other book, this one has okay. It has the translation on the side. Normally, what they would do is just make you go to the vocabulary section to translate the uh, dialogue but they were nice enough this time to just throw it on the side so you have the Cantonese there, the characters you have the Romanized and then you have the um, translation that's one thing I noticed that was different now other than that everything else is pretty much the same the grammar section they didn't really add any characters I was hoping they would do that they still have the notes. They have the uh, insights. They have your insights, adjectives, verbs, all that stuff. Same. Now, what was strange? Well, let's see here. Well, let's see first before I talk about that. This is the second dialogue. Same deal. You have the characters. You have the Romanized down there, and then you have the translation. Okay? The second dialogue. Romanized, translation. And this was before they didn't do this. You see that? English over here. Okay? Now, what was strange to me was when I went to a further chapter, let's see, I jumped to, let's see, chapter 4. Okay, this is chapter 4. As you can see, they have, this is the dialogue, you have the characters here, okay, you have the characters, Romanized, and guess what, no translation. I don't know what happened, I don't know what, why they decided to do that, but once you get further, they just go back to the normal teach yourself, the last version, just like that one. So, like I said, there's really no change. Grammar section is the same. You got your vocabulary section. Okay. So, the question you guys are probably going to want to ask, well, should I buy this version or buy the other version? Well, it doesn't really matter. Because pretty much this, this complete is pretty much the same as the last version. So, I mean, if you want to just get it because it was the older version, it's to put it in your collection, you can, but... I, I would say either or. You can't go wrong with either or. You can just get this one and be okay. But I had to get this because I wanted to see I wanted to see the changes they made. And um they haven't made many changes. So yeah, it's it's you know, although they didn't make that many changes, it's still a good book. I like it. And um yeah, I would recommend those who are interested in learning Cantonese to start with this book. Very good. Okay? Now, my progress, my Cantonese progress, okay? Well, um, yeah, progress is good. I've been doing a lot of listening lately. That's all I've really been doing. I haven't been talking to that many people. I go once in a while to a chat room or talk with some Cantonese friends. But I've mainly been doing a whole bunch of listening. So, what I, I think it was last month. Was it last month? Let's see, Jen. No, no, actually it was in December. I finished this book. It was sometime in December when I finished this book. I went through the whole book. Okay? This whole book. And this, I feel good about it because I've never completed a Teach Yourself book. So this is actually the first Teach Yourself book I've completed. And what's funny is, um, 
before I started really getting into Teach Yourself Heavily, I had the old version of this Cantonese, Teach, uh, teach Yourself Cantonese. And that came with cassettes. And I never got around to learning it because I didn't know how to use the book. So I kind of gave up on Cantonese and I switched to Mandarin. So originally I was supposed to know Cantonese because this is the language I wanted to learn first. Bruce Lee, of course. So it's, I, I found it funny because now that I came back to it, I completed this, and this is the first Teach Yourself I've completed out of every uh, out of the other Teach Yourselves. So that is something to be proud of. I, I put a lot of time into this. I listened to a lot. I went through dialogues over and over and over. So yeah, I'm done with this Teach Yourself book, and what I'm using now is this. I'm going through this book here. I think I made a video about this one a while back. This is Learning Cantonese Through Stories. Very good. All stories. All stories. And as I pointed out before, you have your Cantonese here. You have your Romanized. This is Yale. And then you have the um, English translation. So this is good stuff here. And this is what I've been listening to. So this... And I have this living, uh, living Cantonese here. I talked about this one in another video a while back, also. So yeah, this again, this is just this is for intermediate learners, and you learn through stories. They this one is really really fast paced too. So, yep. Um, other than that, I listen to random stuff online that TV site. I go to and I just play the Cantonese radio, whatever it is, news, I just listen to it. That's it. So my studies are going very well for Cantonese. Okay? So, uh, yeah, this is just the box for that Teach Yourself Cantonese. So, yeah, the, um, the course Complete Cantonese, I mean, I will say, if you want, go ahead and get it. But it's not, it's, it's not that much different from the previous version. So, either or will be fine. I just like it. I like it because it has the rat on the front. <laughs> All right, that's it for this video. And um, if I get any other complete complete courses, I will make a video review on it. So, um, yep. Thanks for viewing, and um, you guys take care and wish you the best with your studies.